400 years ago, the pilgrims arrived in America to found a new community where they could live out their faith in God the way they felt called to do. They were seeking not simply the freedom to worship differently than the state church in England. They sought to live out their faith on a day-to-day -day basis in the way that was impossible, even in the more tolerant country of Holland, where they had been living after fleeing their homeland of England. Religious liberty in America has always meant much more than the freedom to worship. As a Christian, I'm called to live my faith every day, and not just on Sundays. 2 Corinthians 5.20 talks about how, as Christians, we're called to be ambassadors for Christ. My faith is central to who I am, whether that's in my private life or my public life. I wouldn't know how to separate Chuck Grassley, the senator, from Chuck Grassley, the Christian, even if I wanted to. And it would make me a very poor ambassador for Christ if I tried to hide my faith. Matthew 5.15 says, quote, nor does any one light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand and give light to all who are in the house, end of quote. Of course, the pilgrims came and were not the only ones who uh, come across that ocean to the United States seeking to live out their faith. For instance, the Quakers also descended from the Church of England, but had very different religious convictions. This was a source of tension even in colonial times. The Mayflower itself contained individuals who sought new opportunities in the new world, but did not share the pilgrims' faith. From colonial times to today, America has welcomed or spawned more and more faith traditions. We are a large and diverse nation, and that is part of what makes us exceptional. It makes for a more stronger and more dynamic civil society which is so essential for our many freedoms. But as technology makes our world smaller, research shows Americans increasingly sorting themselves with those who think like them. That has made us less able to understand those who think and act differently. I see this divide particularly between those who practice a religion and secular elites in the media and the government. This helps explain increasingly challenging to uh, our traditions and religious freedom. It's important to defend this tradition and not just in the political realm. Politics is downstream of culture. Americans of faith must be ambassadors. That includes loving our neighbors, praying for them, and living out our faith proudly. God bless you, and God bless America.